Kayleen Gleason is speaking out after the driver of a stolen truck crashed into her Tuesday in Modesto. My head went through the front windshield, so there's probably can't see it on the car. There's a huge spiderweb crack on the windshield. My head is actually what did that. So all the shards of the glass went into the side of my head. Everything just kind of went black. And I'm waking up laying in a puddle of oil and gasoline. They're screaming, the cars are on fire. My daughter's screaming in the back of the car, and then I basically just go black again. And then I'm waking up in the back of an ambulance, and I see to the left of me the accident. So I, my initial thought is, I just killed somebody, I hit somebody, I'm freaking out. And then when I got to the hospital, that's when they're telling me, no, you didn't hit anybody. You were actually a victim of a high-speed chase. And she says this isn't the first time. Unfortunately, this is actually my fourth hit and run out here. Um, within the past year and a half. This is the first time they've actually caught the person that's done it. Kayleen says her four-year-old daughter's okay, but she's worried about her. She had to sit there and watch the crash happen, watch mommy lose consciousness, not knowing what's happening, having random people take her out of a car. So it was very traumatizing, not just for me, but for her. Kayleen said it's been hard getting information about what happened and why it happened. I personally think there could have been a lot of things done differently to avoid um, casualties like this. It's a main highway. I don't think chases like that should go on on a highway like this. But they, they did what they could. They helped me and my daughter in a, a terrible situation, and I know I was probably freaking out and not cooperating with them. The driver of the stolen car has been charged with burglary, running away from the scene, and resisting arrest. Kayleen says it's not enough. Well, I plan to be at every hearing I possibly can. I saw he had a court date today. So I'll go to every hearing, talk to every DA I have to, and get the charges as much as I can, because my daughter shouldn't have gone through that. We are so glad she's